Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the YouTube logo, for this demonstration. Depending on for which platform you are creating this lower third, you can use the logo. Now let's create a new composition, I will name it as YouTube lower third. For this composition, I will set the time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now first, here we will add the main text, here I will add my YouTube channel name. For this, I will be using Unisans font family. Change to all caps. Adjust the text layer. Or you can simply align the text to the center. Perfect. Now add the second text layer. Reduce the font size. Here you can place this text layer. Above the main text or below the main text. It's up to you where you want to place this text layer. Now let's pre-compose the text layer. This will be our main text. Now let's pre-compose the subtext. Now for each text layer, we need to create a shape layer to hide them, make sure you have not selected any composition. Select the rectangle tool, create shape as shown. Change Fill option to, Solid Color. Change Stroke option to, None. Now place this shape layer above the main text layer. For main text, change Track Mat to, Alpha Mat Shape Layer 1. We will do the same for subtext, Create Shape as shown. For subtext composition. Change Track Mat to, Alpha Mat Shape Layer 2. Perfect, now for main text, press P to bring up position. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, change position value for X axis as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now we will do the same for subtext. Create position keyframes. Now at the start, change position for X position as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a shape layer. Make sure you have selected the rectangle tool. Now create shape as shown. For this shape layer, press S to bring up scale. Unlink the scale. Now near about at 1 second and 10 frames, create keyframe for scale. At start, change scale to 0%. Here you can see, we need to adjust the position of anchor point. While pressing the Y key on your keyboard, select the anchor point, now place it as shown.
you can see the preview. Here you can see, our text is revealing and shape layer, but they are not in the same line. To make them in same line, let's adjust the position of the shape layer 1 and 2. Perfect. Select the keyframes for shape layer 3, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. For this shape layer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the shape layer. Here you can set any color of your choice, here I will keep it as it is. Now create duplicate of this shape layer. Here for end scale keyframe, we need to change the scale value, I will set it to 95%. Change fill color, set it to white. You can see the preview, here we will place this shape layer 4 at, distance of 10 frames. Here you can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition, name it as logo comp. For this composition, we will set width and height to 400 pixels. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as color 1. Add fill to shape layer. For this fill you can set color according to your logo. Which you will be using for this lower third. For this color shape, press P to bring up position. Now at 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for position, now at start, change position, position this layer outside the frame, perfect. Select the keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this layer, for duplicate, change fill to white. Place this duplicate layer at distance of 10 frames. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale it to fit the screen. Pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select Move All Attribute into New Composition. For Logo Composition, press P to bring up position, now near about at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Create Keyframe for Position, now at start of the timer line, change position value as shown. Select Created Keyframes, change Keyframe Assistant to Easy Ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now place this logo composition at distance of 20 frames. You can see the preview. Now come back to YouTube lower third composition. From project panel, Add the logo comp to the timeline. Position the logo composition. Scale it to match the text and shape layer. Perfect. Now select all the layers except logo composition. Now move all the layers 5 frames forward. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as lower third. For this lower third, 
Let's enable time remapping. Go to time, select enable time remapping. Now at 2 seconds. We need to change this time, set the time to 3 seconds. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for time. Again change the time to 3 seconds. Now for end keyframe, we will change time to 0. This will be our lower third reveal. This is hold position for 1 second. And this will be the exit. Here you are free to adjust the position for this lower third. You can also scale this lower third. Position it and use it. Here you are free to place it wherever you want. Now if you want to increase the time duration for this lower third. You just need to increase the time duration of this composition. For example. For this composition, I will increase time duration to 10 seconds. Now stretch the lower third to 10 seconds. Press U to view keyframes, select these two keyframes, position at end. Here I will increase the scale value to 100%. You can see the preview, this lower third will be now visible for 6 seconds. Perfect. Similarly, you can create more lower thirds. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next video.